are you guys this Saturday morning? Um, welcome back to another CC Fashion is my passion YouTube video. I am getting ready to put on some false lashes. Now I did this video about two weeks ago and I felt like I cheated you guys because um, somebody was calling me. I had to take a phone call and so I had to stop the video and, it, and the video got cut cut off. So I thought that I would come back today and do another lash tutorial video. Now, let me just say this. I am not a pro when it comes to putting on false lashes, okay? I've learned in the last year or so when the pandemic hit and when I turned 50, as I said in the other video, I just wanted to give myself a little pop so this is why I started wearing the false lashes, okay? So I don't have on any makeup. My face is completely bare and I'm getting ready to put on these lashes and then I'm gonna put on my um, makeup, okay? So in the last video, I showed you guys some tools that I use for putting on false lashes and one of the tools that I use is um, this Strive it's kind of it didn't kind of wore off because I've had it a while okay so this is Thrive liquid eyeliner and I put that right up here okay along the eye and then I apply my um, eyelashes I also showed you guys in the last video my scissors these are if you haven't um, uh, purchase some of these these are lash scissors and these scissors help cut the sides of the eyelashes off which I just did that before I came on here because you don't when you take them out the package sometimes they have that long band sticking out on each side and you don't want that digging into your eye okay so cut that off and then the other thing I showed you guys was this This is some lash glue from Wink For Me. Okay. Um, and so the lash, the, the, the shampoo and the scissors I bought from Wink For Me. And this is really, really good. Um, right here, you can you put this on a Q-tip. Put this on the Q-tip and you scrape some of the glue that sometimes it's on the, when you take the lashes out, sometimes they have some sticky part of the glue and sometimes that can irritate your eyes. So I, some, I, a lot of times when I take lashes out of the package for the very first time, I clean them off with some eyelash shampoo glue. You also can use this when you are done with wearing your eyelashes, okay? And they do preserve your eyelashes so that you can wear your eyelashes over and over and over again until you just wanna throw them away, okay? So I will have this listed in uh, the description, the link for the eyelash glue and the scissors. And they both um, are from Wink, that's W-I-N-K, the number four, Wink for, the number four, Wink for me, M-E, okay? So everything will be listed, okay? So today we're gonna just put on some regular eyelashes. Um, I like full eyelashes, not necessarily really, really long. I just like the volume and the fullness of the eyelashes, okay? So now let me just tell you all, I have my camera um, uh, sitting where, um, it's long ways, this way, okay? It's not for like this, so it's this way. So if it looks like I'm looking over this way and not looking directly in the camera, that's why, because when you turn it this way, it, it's really weird where it doesn't let you look directly up into the camera. And I'm using my um, iPhone, my 10XR10 iPhone, okay? All right, let's, so let's just get started and I'm gonna put these eyelashes on, okay? So the first thing that I do, is I take my black eyeliner and I'm using you guys as a mirror. And I put my eyeliner on first.
And you want to make sure that, turn this fan off. You want to make sure that when you put your eyeliner on, that you just pull, just take this finger, your middle finger on the other hand, and just pull your eye over just so, so uh, slightly. You don't want to pull too hard. But you want to make sure that the eyeliner is all the way down to where your lashes are. You don't want to put it in your regular, your lashes, your natural lashes, okay? But you want to put it across. And you want to pull it all the way here to the waterline. This is your waterline right here in the crease, okay? That's considered the waterline, okay? You can always pull this eyeliner out longer if you're trying to make a wing tip, okay? I haven't learned how to do that yet, but I've been watching YouTube videos, okay? And then I just let this dry a little bit. And the reason why I haven't put my makeup on yet is because sometimes when I put eyelashes on um, after I put my makeup on, sometimes that glue is not dried all the way down and it will get down here um, and it will stick, okay, on my eyes. And then I gotta try to clean it up and then I ruin my makeup. Then I gotta go do the, the makeup all over again. Hold on, you all. Okay. All right, so now that's dried a little bit. So I'm gonna do the next eye. Again, I'm gonna go all the way down where my natural lashes are. Now, I've, I've heard different reasons why people put the top eyeliner on when they do their eyelashes. Um, but I do it because it helps me line my false lashes up on my eyelid. It's like giving me, um, it's giving me a way to know where I'm gonna lay the strips of the eyelashes. Well, let me look here in the mirror. Okay. okay. I don't know where to put this. Right here. I don't want my mirror to break. I feel like I need to put a little bit more over here. I think I need to buy some more. I use this so much. Okay. Woo. It's hot in here. Y'all know I'm sorry, having a hot flash. These bangs. Getting on my nerve, y'all. Getting on my nerve. Okay, let me look at this. Okie dokie. All right. I could have made this this one over here not as thick, a little thinner, but okay, whatever. Okay, so after I do that, then let me show you the lashes that I use. These are the lashes. $3.99 at your local beauty supply. These are the 3D Real Mink Lashes, okay? And they were $3.99, okay? So, the next thing I do, I take a Q-tip, I take my Q-tip and I dip my Q-tip down in my glue. The glue that I use is this. It's called Sassy's S-A-S-S-I -S -S Eyelash Glue, and I use the dark. Okay, you see that? You can get it at your beauty supply house. It also is $3.99. This is called 
the Dark Salon Eyelash Glue. The only thing I don't like about this glue, and I went in there yesterday to find, I need hypo, hypoallergenic glue. Um, this glue tends to itch my eyes a little bit. So that's why I know that I'm allergic to it. My skin is very, very sensitive. That's why I never change. I try really hard not to change different makeups and stuff like that because my skin will break out and it'll itch. Have really, really funny skin. Um, hold on, you all. I'm gonna move this rub back. So I don't wanna trip on that. Um, so that's the glue that I use. So I take this glue and I put it down on a paper towel and then I take my, my Q-tip and I swish it around in the glue. And if you watch my the other video that I did, you'll see um, how I did the, uh, just the right side. Make sure this is the right one for this eye. Um, another thing I want to tell you about these eyelashes before I put the glue on, you want to make sure, see these sides right here? Sometimes these sides have um, things to stick out, okay? You want to make sure you cut that. Not the eyelash, but you want to cut the black part to stick it out. You also want to make sure that you are putting the smaller end of the eyelash on the right eye, okay? If you put your eyelashes on, and the part that's, that goes out, the wing part, is hitting more in here, you got your eyelashes on wrong. And I did not learn that until two of my Facebook sisters' friends told me that, pulled my coattail about that because I did not know. Because I they've been wearing eyelashes for years. I just started wearing them. So it's a lot that I'm still learning about how to apply eyelashes. But I'm telling you all what they told me. So this is what the eyelash looks like, okay? So if you put this eyelash on, that's the back, you put the eyelash on, the, the shorter part of the eyelash, where it's not, doesn't have that, that wing coming out, that's the part you wanna put on your eye, okay? I'm looking at these, cause I'm trying to make sure I'm putting them all right. Yeah, I think this is right. That might be for this eye. Let's see. Okay, this is the other one. Okay. So now I'm getting ready to put the glue on. And then we're gonna put these bad boys on. My glue. And then I'm gonna rub it, put it right across the strip of here. See how I'm applying that? I'm just gonna take it all the way across. And you wanna make sure you have enough on so that when you put these on, put the lashes on, they're going to stick. Because the worst thing is not to have enough glue on your eyelashes and um, Ah, oh, my mom texted me. Uh, you want to make sure you got enough glue on the eyelashes, okay? Because the worst thing, what I was going to say is the worst, worst thing is to put some eyelash glue on here and put it on your eye and then got to take it back off and put it on again. So make sure you have enough glue on the eyelash strip, okay? So you don't have to take it off and put it back on. The next thing I do, I have a fan. And I take my fan and I hold it up to the fan to dry it. Now, the reason why I started doing this is because sometimes when you haven't let this, this glue dry, you don't want it to dry all the way. You just want it to dry down enough that it's not going to be messy and make a mess all down here under your eye, okay? So I take the fan and I let the fan dry it down some. So it's not wet, wet when I put it on, but it's, it's gonna be wet enough, but not extremely wet. 
Okay, so just take, you got a fan, some little fan like this or whatever, just hold it up there for about five or 10 minutes, 10 seconds, I should say, maybe not not 10 minutes, about, about, about a couple of seconds, 10 seconds, hmm, somewhere around there. It just goes on much easier and it's not as messy. Some people blow on their eyelashes to dry them. Um, I used to do that, you know, used to go to blow them to make to, to dry them down. But since I got this little fan here, I just use the fan and it's just easier and quicker. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the lash on. Again, take this hand, my right hand, and just pull right here. When you put the eyelashes on, eyelashes on. Do not put the eyelashes all the way up here. You wanna lay the eyelashes directly where your natural eyelashes are. You wanna lay it right on top or right up under, okay? So you don't wanna be walking around with eyelashes on and they all the way up here sticking all the way out. You wanna put it on the natural lash, as close to the natural lash as you can so that they look natural and they don't look so fake and they not standing up okay so you see how I got some glue See what I'm talking about? How the glue it was so wet, so it's down here. So now I gotta go and I gotta clean that up. And that's why you want it to dry down, okay? But you see what I'm saying? And hold on a minute, you all. I need to move this over. Give me a second. I need the big mirror. To be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so it's on there. And you can move them down however way you want to. Um, that's easy for you, to your own comfortability. that part hitting the inside of the corner of my eye. Now, after you do that, over here, you gotta go and you gotta clean this up, right? So you just take use some petroleum jelly, cocoa butter is the best Vaseline, um, and you just clean around this part, okay? And I'm gonna do that, but,
All right, sorry. I had to go and adjust it. And it's hard to see in this phone. Okay. So now I'm gonna take, um, like I said, the Vaseline. Oh, I hope I don't have to take this one off because it's giving me the flux. Okay, I think I think it's it's feeling better. Okay, now I'm gonna take that Vaseline and I'm gonna clean up my glue mess. To loosen up this glue. And this is all you need to do. Just go with a little Q-tip. Don't rub too hard. See how that came off? Okay, then we use the other side. I hope don't nobody call while I'm doing this. You only popular when you start doing stuff. Y'all know that, right? Always one piece that don't want to come off. Come on. Oh. Okay. Bam. Got it all off. So when you use this to clean up around the eye, it just, you know, that's why I don't put no makeup on because then I gotta go back and I gotta put the concealer on and all that. So I just put these eyelashes on first. And you know, cause I don't want all that glue. So that's what I did. I took a little, you just wanna, you know, you don't wanna rub too hard. You don't wanna poke yourself in the eye with a Q-tip. Just wanna pull down and go around that area and clean your little, the glue mess up, okay? Excuse me, I didn't mean to belch. Um, I don't wear any eyeliner up under here anymore because um, for some reason, it tends to stick. Sometimes this glue hasn't dried all the way, and when the glue hasn't dried all the way, the eyeliner and the glue, it is just become a freaking mess. So I stopped wearing the um, eyeliner up under here when I wear my eyelashes. I miss my eyeliner. I probably at some point will go back to wearing it, but I got to master this first, okay? So it's not so messy. Okay, so now we're gonna put on the second lash. I'm gonna throw this little thing away, okay? Then I'm gonna get the other lash, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Put some glue on it. So, you know, it can become messy, and that's why I said put it in the, put it um, under the fan and let the fan dry it. I'm gonna make sure that I put this glue right along the band. I think I had too much glue up under on the other side. So I made sure I put it right across the band. I had so much of it down here in the last part and I think that's why it was so messy. back on. Let that dry. Again, because you want it to be wet, but you don't want it to be wet wet. What you guys doing this weekend? Anybody got any plans? Any events? I have a party to go to tonight, a birthday party, and it's my cousin's birthday. I want to give a shout out to my cousin, Chad. Today is his birthday. Today is also my good friend, my, um, I call her my, um, 
What do I call Judy? I got a nickname for Judy. But anyway, today is my co-worker Judy Sandiago's birthday. Happy birthday, Judy. Happy birthday, Chad. Happy birthday, Gloria Bowman. Happy birthday, D. Marie Stevenson. These are all my peeps, honey. Happy birthday to all of you. My first cousin, Chad. My good girlfriend from work, Judy. My other two good, good girlfriends, Glow, Glow Worm, Glow Bean, and D. Happy birthday to all of you all. And anybody else that I forgot to mention, happy birthday. If you celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday. God bless you. I'm wishing you many, many, many more. Um, God has seen us through another year. So if you came on through that pandemic, baby, happy birthday. God is good. Okay. Now we ready to put this one on. All right. Than I thought. Mm -hmm, girl. Yes, child. Yes. You know, I don't know why. But for those of you that put on lashes, you all probably can't agree with me on this. Sometimes one eye is just better than the other. And this eye always do it. This one I struggle with. This one, bam, right on there. And I do have a little glue. Let's see if I can wipe it off. Mm. I may need to get the Vaseline because it's sticking. Did y'all see how that went on so easy? Maybe I dried it a little bit longer. That's why it just went on. But let me show you. You see where my eyelash, how I put the eyelashes on? You see where it is? You see? You see that it's not, I'm trying to show you, you see it's not up here. It's not above the line, my eyeliner line, okay? Let me show you on this one. You see where it is? It's down where the natural lashes are. It's not all the way up here. So it ain't gonna be sticking. So it look like, even though we know, you know, obviously when you look at these, that these are not my real eyelashes, but they look as natural as natural can be because they ain't standing all the way up here, okay? So you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you lay them on the natural lashes, okay? The natural lashes. Girlfriend, you is getting better and better and better and better at this. So proud of you, Sharika. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean this glue up. I thank you all so much for your patience. It's not much that suck like the other one. I don't think I let that other one dry. Did I get it? And like I said, just gently. You know, I had 282 YouTube subscribers yesterday. And somebody unsubscribed to my page. And now I only have 281. And I kinda know who did it, but that's all right. 
If you petty like that, deuces. I don't need you over here. The people that want to be here are here. So whatever your deal is, you pissed, you mad. They mad, boo. I'm good. I don't chase nobody for nothing. Not ever. Oh, yes. And then, like I said, I just go, I just go with my finger. A lot of people put lashes on with, um, with tweezers. I can't. I've tried. I just don't. They just, I just can't. I don't have the. I don't have the. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I'm not real good with working with tools like that. And I always, I, I, I got a feeling or a fear about it stick, me sticking myself in my eye. So I just, I just play, I just do my finger. I just let my fingers do the work. All right, you guys. Listen, I would stand here and make my whole face up, but I know you all don't have that type of time to sit here and watch me make myself make do a whole makeup uh video um because you got things to do it's saturday right so i don't want to make it this video any longer than it already is but i did feel like i needed to come back and show you all how i put my eyelashes on because i had did a video before like i said i had to take an important phone call and it cut off okay so this is that So ladies, if you ever need some help, let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment box. I'll do whatever I can. I can maybe FaceTime you. If you have an iPhone or if you are on Google Duo and you need somebody to sit and walk you through on how to put on false eyelashes, I'm more than happy to help you, okay? Because all it is is just giving us a little bit, a little, what, a little, little, um, a little volume. That's it, okay? So it's trial and error. You're going to make some mistakes. Um, I would suggest that you not buy very expensive lashes if this is your first go-round. If you still learn how to put on false lashes, don't go buy a whole bunch of um, lashes that cost 13 14 15 20 bucks, or even more than that. Don't do that. Go to the Beauty Supply House. They got a uh, whole bunch of eyelashes for $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. The most I spend at the Beauty Supply House is going to be about 4 bucks. Now, I will spend $11 for Wink For Me. I think their lashes are like $13, maybe $14. I'll spend that for those. I'll spend it for the young lady who I told you about in the other video, the big be, be, uh, beaner, binner, uh, blink. Okay, I'll spend money, eleven, twelve dollars, or even more for her lashes and for wink for me. Both black owned. Okay, I support my um, black businesses, so I will spend more for their lashes. And I also like this company. It's another company I buy eyelashes from. So what I'm saying is, is that if you're not a, a, a pro yet and you haven't really mastered it and you're still learning and you're still playing around with it, just go buy some cheap eyelashes. Cheap, but not cheesy, okay? Go to the Beauty School House, go over on the rack where they got the $1.99 eyelashes and just buy you some of those. And then another thing too, if you are a person who um really don't like to wear the really full volume lashes you can buy some like these okay these are not as long they're not as full they got all different sizes so you can buy some this is the smallest size that i buy but they have some even smaller than this you don't want that va va boom and you still practicing, then just go with something that is smaller, not as much volume, 
maybe you're not that comfortable right now with wearing something this of this magnitude so go with something a little bit smaller just until you get the hang and the feel of what and how what the lashes are and how to put the lashes on okay so i hope that this lash tutorial was helpful to those of you and if it was and you are interested in me teaching you how to put them on and you need more help and if this if you need more help beyond this video let me know in the comment section and again if you have google dual i can sit with you and we can be on a video and i can walk you through it okay so i hope this video helped i'm glad that i was able to come back and give you all another lash tutorial video i hope i didn't scare y'all because i ain't got on no makeup but it is what it is, right? Y'all know me. I'm going to keep it 100, girl. I'm going to keep it 100 all the time. All right. So. Mm. It gets better. You got to keep practicing. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. Don't be afraid to mess up. Don't be afraid. If the lashes tear up, don't be afraid, honey. That's why I say go buy them $1.99 eyelashes, okay, at the beauty supply house. Just buy you a whole bunch or buy you about 10 pair. Buy you 10 pair of small eyelashes, $1.99. You good until you're ready to graduate to bigger and better things in the lash world. All right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching another CC Fashion is my passion YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you all. I hope you all checked out my uh, video, um, the uh, swimsuit video swimsuit and cover up video go watch that video because that is a hot video for the hot girl summer for july and august which we know is getting ready to heat up all right all right well you guys thank you again thank you for your love and your support thank you for those that have already have subscribed that comment like and share my videos and for those of you that are still on the fence about coming on over here and taking a seat in my YouTube world, come on over. It's plenty of room. So don't forget to hit that red button that says subscribe. Right next door is the bell notification. Hit that bell so that you will not miss any videos that CC uploads, and that would be me. And then like this video, comment, and share. God bless you. Have a wonderful and marvelous weekend. Have a marvelous day. Please be safe. Please be blessed and inspired somebody today. God bless you. Mwah, mwah.